Across the world and throughout history, people respond to compelling stories. I can afford it. Kona manje ngilungisa 90 appliances per month. Itano vayami 3,600. That's not even half my expenses. What about Tiloneko from the microland? Nsele ye payment day one. In fact, ni 300 rand extra every month. Enga enza no ma yi ngai. Hey, nyakchel, I am rich, baby. I am rich. Imo dea dura di nana. Not only we tang, maru we maintain. Koni petrol, his servicing, hamataer, you name it. Entertainment education uses this innate human characteristic to create development impact through behavior change communication. Oh, I don't understand <laughs> um, how this happened. <laughs> we, we used a condom. I know, I know, but you know, condoms only work like 97% of the time. What? 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 <laughs> well, they should put that on the box. They do. No, they don't. <laughs> Using mass media like television and radio, which currently reach 4 billion people globally. Para que no denuncie a su hijo Gino por intento de abuso. Vecinos, vecinos, ve anoche los padres se deambulando por el barrio a ver su padrino, este monstruo, había intentado abusar de ella. Así que señor Rafael, quien tiene mucho que explicar y poco que exigir es usted. Entertainment education disseminates information on topics from HIV prevention. Nosotros somos hijos, en un cama de dormir, 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 en un cama de dormir. To girls' education. I really like listening to Taru. We are interested in Taru because it has been specially produced for women. It talks about education, and the family in its storyline has four daughters but no son. And they want a son. And they wonder who will continue their lineage without a son. They shouldn't think like this. If one educates his or her daughter, can't she become equal to a son? Based on psychologist Albert Bandura's discovery that humans learn behavior from a variety of external sources, including the mass media that they absorb. Segment you're about to see is taken from an early experiment on learning of, a, of aggressive styles of uh, behavior uh, through modeling. In one sense, entertainment education is as old as storytelling itself. As long as humans have told stories, they have taught lessons. And what's his reason? I am a Jew! Hath that a Jew eyes? Hath that a Jew hands? Organs? Dimensions? In the 1970s, a Mexican TV producer named Miguel Sabido decided to apply Dr. Bandura's theories to the telenovelas his network was creating. By infusing socially relevant content into these programs, the EE Revolution was born. Con el nombre de Entertainment Education y que forma parte de modelos para usar los grandes medios masivos de comunicación. One of the intrinsic qualities uh, of human beings is that we are hardwired for storytelling. A 98% chance. There's a higher chance of your baby being born with Down syndrome than there is of you passing HIV onto your child. For many years, we have been using this methodology in the Caribbean and the Pacific to help change attitudes. So it is working very well for us, and it really allows us to embrace um, those issues in a very creative sort of a way. For the communication strategy to work, for the mass media to work, you also need the partnership of other stakeholders. Or you need an advocacy intervention to make sure that you are advocating. We work with the partners that have already been working in the field. We see what we're doing as complementing the work of the governments, of the NGOs, of the local communities, of the people that have been spending years learning, understanding what's going on in the communities. What can I do for you, Rod? You just tell me what can I do for you? It's a very personal, 
very important thing. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. I just want to make sure you're ready, brother. Here it is. Show me the money. <laughs> hey, yes. You know how business was yesterday. I cannot afford to give you all of my share. I have budgeted for every cent. Don't need a cardigan and I have to go to the saloon. <laughs> Mama Mboga, I'm sorry. I will give you the rest when I can. I don't want. Hey, I have. Half. Have I ever given any of you half? Have I? Any of you? Mama Mboga. Huh? If you create storylines about money and they have intrigue and they have drama and you have greed and you have romance and you mix it all up, you've got dynamite engagement. ¿Dónde tienes tu cuenta? Si yo no tengo cuenta de banco. Tienes que abrir una cuenta de cheques o por lo menos una cuenta de ahorros. In a nutshell, finances really and financial capability runs across every other social issue that one wants to look at. And I think the story of entertainment, education and financial inclusion is yet to be written. Entertainment education has already helped to slow the spread of HIV, get girls into school, reduce population growth, combat domestic violence, improve agricultural productivity, and tackle scores of other global challenges. I think the future is very exciting for entertainment education around the world, especially in the developing countries, um, especially at this time when we're moving from the traditional media of film television and radio into the new technologies, the mobile technologies, social media, social networking, and all different means to reach millions of people around the world. 